Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kristen and today we are back in the new neighborhood of Suidad in Amorada. This is the neighborhood that came with the new expansion pack Lovestruck and I think this neighborhood is just so beautiful. I love the aesthetic of this neighborhood. It's very much, I'm pretty sure it's inspired by Mexico. If I'm mistaken and it's inspired by somewhere else, you guys definitely let me know. But I, I see like Mexico uh, when I see this neighborhood and I don't think we, we don't have a pack like that yet. And so I love this world. I think it's so fun to build in and I'm not the best at building houses of this style. <laughs> I, my best house is probably just a regular suburban house. That's what I'm used to seeing in real life and so it's easier for me to build those types of houses in The Sims than it is to build houses like this. I'm not sure what you even call these types of houses. I thought they were like adobe style houses but I, I have no idea where I heard that word from so I'm not I'm not sure what style of house this is. It's, it's not Mediterranean. At least uh, the houses in the back kind of have the Mediterranean style because they have the tile roof. But this particular one that I'm building, I don't know what you would call it. It it doesn't have any tile roof or anything. It's more of a modern-ish uh, look to it. Um, it's not exactly the same as most of the houses that you can see around it. A lot of the houses around it have like the tile roof. This one is a little bit different. I. It's kind of inspired by the last house that I've built. Um, if you missed it, I have built a family house for this neighborhood, and that is over on my channel if you want to go check it out. It looks similar to this, but it is different. Uh, this house, I actually have the front door on the second story, so the, the first story is where the bedrooms are and the living room and then the top story is where the kitchen is. So it's a little bit of a different layout than I have done previously before and I really enjoy layouts like this. I love the way that the big staircase looks in the front of the house and it's not something I could pull off very often. <laughs> so I was quite happy with the fact that I was able to pull it off with this particular house. The shape of it, I think it's really interesting. And not only does it have two balconies on the second story, it also has a rooftop balcony. And I had an idea of putting like a bar up there and a little hangout area. Well, this is a starter house. And so I did not have the simoleons to be able to do that. And so I ended up just putting like a telescope out there. Just, you know, I thought that made sense um, that your Sam would use that top uh, rooftop balcony, whatever, whatever you would call it, the rooftop balcony to be able to stargaze and I don't know, maybe spy on their neighbors um, if, if they're weird like that. <laughs> and also I put a decoration on the front door. You guys seen me do that just now and I think it looks so cute and so pretty and it's part of the debug menu and so I and so I really didn't think it was going to cause a problem with your sim being able to go in and out of the front door but for some reason it did. My sim could not go through the front door with that piece of decor over the front door. It's almost like um, a canopy sort of thing. It's like an archway but since the fact that it was in debug. Usually Sims walk through debug. Uh, maybe that was fixed in an update and that's why it's not working as intended. But we also have something that looks just like that that came in the get together pack, I think, with Windenburg. Um, and I've used that in a similar way where I had it over a door and your Sim was able to walk under it. So I'm not sure exactly what the problem was with this particular one, but Unfortunately, I was not able to use that in the end. So as you can see from the thumbnail, I ended up having to remove that. And it definitely made it not look as it as good as it did with it over the door. It just adds an extra piece of decoration to the front that makes it look less like a starter home, less empty. <laughs> 
But yeah, unfortunately I had to remove that and there was nothing else that I could replace it with. So I ended up just using like, I added a light and then I moved the, the little plate that has the number on there, the, the number of the house. Um, I ended up moving that to the side and so it fills up the blank area a little bit but it ends up being a little bit blank so I was disappointed about that but it is what it is um, but as you can see I got the layout of the house done so I have the downstairs like I was saying it's the bedrooms there's two bedrooms there's a bathroom and then there's the living room and upstairs is just the kitchen and the dining room so it is a pretty small house and then I also put a side door leading to the second balcony and then it leads up to the rooftop balcony. So it's definitely an interesting layout that I don't do often, if at all. <laughs> and so we are inside now and I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay out the actual kitchen. Um, this is about the best that I could get. And so there's the refrigerator and the stove and the sink. I don't like to do the sink directly next to the fridge like this, but that is where the window was and that's just how it worked out. So that's what happened. <laughs> it's right by the door or the refrigerator. And so not really ideal, but it is what it is, I guess. And as far as the storyline goes for this house, I was kind of thinking, um, the bed that I put in the left room right there, I thought that belonged to, there's two best friends that lives here. There's one whose house this is. She bought the house, this is her house. She was born and raised here in Ciudad in Emirata. And she also has a best friend who also was born and raised here. She grew up here as well. She ended up going away for college to Brightchester University and she met a guy there and they fell in love and blah blah blah. She moved in with him and he ended up a couple years into their relationship. He dumped her. <laughs> um, he broke it off with her for whatever reason. I'm not really sure of the reason. I didn't think of that. But since she just got over a pretty bad breakup that devastated her, she had nowhere to go. She was far away from home and so she ended up calling her best friend who she grew up with. They haven't really spoken that much in the last few years. They've just been busy with their own lives and luckily for her, her best friend was willing for her to come live in her house. She was like, you know what, girl, that's messed up. I am so sorry that he did that to you. I actually have a spare bedroom at my house that I'm not using. It, there's literally nothing in there. Um, nothing at all. So bring your bed. And that's when she said, well, he took the sheets off the bed. And so I have just a mattress. <laughs> and so her friend said, all right, well, bring your mattress. <laughs> better than nothing. It's better than the floor. Bring your mattress and come live with me. And you can be back home and a familiar place that you haven't been to in years and we can live together. You don't have to worry about paying me rent right off the bat, just move in, get your stuff together and find a job when you're able to find a job and it'll be all right. Um, we will do this together. And so that's exactly what happened. She ended up moving back to Ciudad in Amorada, living with her friends and that is where they're at. She is, not really looking for any romance right now, but Suadad and Amorata is known for their single life. And so she probably is going to end up making a Cupid's Corner profile and seeing her options out there. Maybe going to the nightclub at town and uh, just making the best out of what she has and trying to live her best life. As far as her job goes, she has no idea. She's probably going to try to get into that new career. Um, what is that like? Not, not matchmaker, but the like the love counseling career. Um, I forgot the name of the career, but she's thinking about that. Even though she just got dumped, so she's not the best at romance, but she did get a degree in psychology from Brightchester, so that might be right up her alley. She's not the best at romance herself, but she knows how to make other people feel better and tell other people what to do. <laughs> and so that's a good choice for her. But yeah, so that's the storyline that I thought of as I was building this house. I kind of made 
I tried to make it stay true to the fact that only a couple of like friends lived here that were single and one owned the house, one just moved in. And so I tried to make the one that moved in her room more, you know, not really cluttered because it's a starter home. I can't add too many things, but it's just, it's not put together. Her nightstand is like a box. Okay, so I tried to make the style look like she did just move in. And this room over here is the room for the girl that lives here. And so I tried to make it look like hers is more put together and it's like a real bed and some like wall art and stuff like that. And then backyard, I ended up putting the, there's like a pergola and there's a free pergola that came in the debug of Love Struck. And so that is what I use. So that is not the one that you have to pay for out of base game. It is the free one, so that's interesting. And then I also put some fairy lights, which are also free in the debug. I was so excited when I seen that was in the debug. I don't think this is the first pack that had the fairy lights for free in debug, but I love those fairy lights. They first came in the toddler stuff, uh, the stuff pack. And so I know not a lot of people do like stuff packs and stuff like that. And I love using them when I do like the pack heavy builds. So when I'm able to do it for free in the debug in like an expansion pack that is more on the popular side, at least I think this one would be, this really reminds me of um, Hot Date, The Sims 1 Hot Date, I think. Just obviously it's different. This is The Sims 4, but I feel like that is kind of what they were inspired by. And so I feel like this would be a, a popular pack. Let me know if that is different with you guys, if you guys aren't really fond of the pack or if you guys follow it more than I do um, and you know it's really not popular, there's not a lot of people buying it. I just feel like a lot of people would enjoy this. I've enjoyed the little bit that I've played. I haven't played with it too much. Cupid's Corner is a little bit disappointing if I do have to uh, say so. It wasn't exactly how I thought it was going to be. It's a little, the matches that your Sims get is like literally just any random townie that, yeah, it's, it's not the best. <laughs> it's cute, but I feel like functionality wise, it doesn't work as well as it could have or as well as I was hoping. I feel like the Sims 3 online dating profile was better. At least you had better options. The Sims as the options, the matches are not that great, at least from my experience of playing it. But anyways, we are pretty much nearing the end of this build. It's a starter home, keep that in mind. So there's not much decor going on inside or really outside as well. I am trying to fill it up as much as possible. Oh, I did put an oxalotl inside because it was free. That's the main reason why I did that, but I was actually really excited that they added oxalotls. Um, I guess that's like, do you guys find oxalotls in the wild in Mexico? I'm really curious. Um, if that's the case, then that's pretty cool that they added that extra little detail. And oxalotls are just so cute too, so I, I thought that was fun. And so I put one of those on the bedside like table in the girl's room who actually owns this house. That's her pet oxalotl. Now your Sims can't hold it, which I guess you're not really supposed to hold oxalotls anyways, right? I've never had one, so I'm not sure how you take care of them, but I know that they are cute. Um, but anyways, we are pretty much nearing the end now, guys. This is pretty much it. I don't have too much landscaping out, and I end up changing the pathway to the sidewalk on the side of the house, kind of the back of the house, off to the side. I changed that and I end up putting path stones there instead. Uh, it just looks so much better. That pathway, I don't really know what I was thinking with that. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. Um, I hope you're enjoying the new expansion pack. I know it's been out for more than a week now at this point, but I really hope you're enjoying it. And let me know down below what your favorite part of the new expansion pack is. I'm really curious what you guys think of the new pack. 
So with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like so I know to make more starter homes in the future. And subscribe if you have not already. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.